Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Bliss. I am super excited about this product I'm about to show you. Recently, I reached out to Emotiva to see if there was an amplifier that I could demo and review down in my home theater, and they sent me an XPA7 Gen 3 amplifier. This is a seven channel amp that should give my theater room a huge bump in power. In today's video, I'll be unboxing it and going over all the specs and features with you guys, so let's get started. So there's been this trend recently with YouTube reviewers where they get in amplifiers and they've been bench pressing them. Sadly, today I will not be doing that for you guys. And the main reason is it just won't be that impressive. While heavy at 53 pounds, Youthman's amplifier was 93. So Youthman, you have that record for now. All right, let's get into the box here. This is double boxed. This is a big foam pad up top here. So I love the way they package these up with the little case around them. It's nice looking, so we'll see if we can't get it out of here. All right. Get you out of the way. All right, you ready? Oh yeah. yeah I love the brushed aluminum look on these. All right, let's get some close-ups and go over the specs and features. The Emotiva XPA7 Gen 3 weighs in at 53 pounds and is 17 inches wide, 8 inches tall, and 19 inches deep. It is a 7 channel amplifier with a power rating of 200 watts per channel at 8 ohms with all channels driven, 300 watts per channel at 8 ohms with only 2 channels driven, and a whopping 490 watts per channel at 4 ohms with only 2 channels driven. The face has a very nice looking brushed aluminum finish with a blue power button when on and LED channel indicators. On the back of the amp you have the power cord socket with a main power on and off switch, circuit breaker, a switch to turn off the front panel LED indicators, and a trigger in and out for automatic startup with your receiver. The rest of the back panel is made up of the seven channel signal inputs and speaker outputs. Each channel has an input selector for either unbalanced RCA or balanced XLR inputs. The speaker outputs are five-way binding posts to accept bare wire, spade plugs, or what I prefer, which is banana plugs. Each channel will have the same output potential, so it doesn't matter how you organize your inputs for your room. Each channel has an analog class AB output stage at lower power levels and has a soft switch optimized class H power supply for higher power demands. This increases the efficiency while maintaining the class AB sound quality. The switch from a low voltage rail to a high voltage rail happens seamlessly and allows for a more efficient, cooler operation while reducing power consumption. This is made possible by Emotiva's high current switch mode power supply. This is more efficient and lighter than traditional transformer power supplies and can deliver up to 3000 watts of power to get some great dynamic sound out of your speakers. The Emotiva XPA7 retails for just under $2,100, comes with a 30-day risk-free trial, and has a five-year warranty. So like I said, guys, I am super excited to get this integrated into my home theater system. This will be powering all of my DIY sound group speakers that I made here recently, and I'll also be pulling out my Swope Towers that I made a few years back to see how those sound on it as well. After I get a few weeks of listening in, I'll come back with you with a full review. But for now, I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more home theater and DIY content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. So like I said, I am super ex... I don't have a power cable. I don't think the box had a power cable. There's no power cable. This won't work without a power cable. That's okay, simple mistake. I'm sure they'll make it right. I'll get the review out soon once I can power it up.